Chung Lee is on the way, and you know how I feel about red and black characters. You need a little red in the void, and Chung Lee is here to fill it. Chung Lee is a main DPS fusion character, and she will be the third limited 5 star character introduced in Withering Waves. With Jin Shi preceding her, she certainly has some big shoes to fill. I'll be going over her kit, her best teams and weapon options, as well as my thoughts on her place in the meta. I'm Void Enigma, and I used to call Chung Lee. Changely. So I decided to change the way that I pronounce it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. Chang Li is a character that is built around her forte circuit and also utilizing her true sight and then her enhanced heavy attack. She can gain true sight in a few ways, and you know you have it when her ponytail lights up. To gain true sight, you can either use your fourth basic attack, your resonant skill, or your intro skill. While in true sight, you're able to do one of two things. On the ground, you'll be able to do a powerful slash, which is considered skill damage. In the air, she'll transform into a phoenix, which is also considered skill damage. Are you noticing a pattern here? Over half her kit revolves around her resonant skill. After each of these actions that uses True Sight, True Sight will end. Now each time True Sight hits, she will actually gain a stack. These stacks are called Inflamement and she can hold 4 of them. When you use a heavy attack upon having all 4 stacks of Inflamement, then you'll be able to release a flaming nuke dealing a lot of damage. So the bread and butter of her kit is to gain True Sight, use True Sight, stack up 4 Inflamement stacks, and then blast a motherfucker to oblivion as a sacrifice to the phoenix goddess that is Chang Li. Her Residence Liberation is also a major part of her kit because it will give full stacks to her Inflamement and put her in a new state. You'll want to use the Enhanced Heavy Attack within 10 seconds or immediately, and it will get a 25% attack boost for this particular Enhanced Heavy Attack. Lastly, her outro skill will give the next resonator a 20% fusion damage buff alongside a 25% liberation damage boost, lasting for 10 seconds. Sadly, the duration kind of sucks, but she's not really meant to be a buffer. Her passives helped her out a bit as well, with each stack of inflamement granting her 5% fusion damage bonus stacking up to 20%. Her next passive actually is very powerful. When she uses her Enhanced Heavy Attack or her Resonance Liberation, she will get a 20% fusion damage bonus and ignore 15% of the target's defense. We all know how great ignoring defense is for characters. So her rotation will go something like this. She will focus on stacking her Inflamement until max stacks, then you will use an Enhanced Basic Attack, then you'll follow up with your Resonance Liberation, and then do another Enhanced Basic Attack. Or, you can start with the Resonance Liberation instead, but that's the gist of it. There are more things that you can do, such as air combos and ways to get your Inflamement stacks quicker, but I'd recommend that you wait till she releases so that we can actually figure out the best way for her to get the Inflamement stacks, or just play around with her yourself. If you've made it this far, then you must be enjoying the video, yeah? Go ahead and like this video so that I can continue to make great content and consider subscribing as well. Alright, let's get right back into it. Let's talk about Chun Li's Echo Options. You will want to use the Molten Rift set. This set is perfect for her in almost every scenario since it gets a 40% total fusion damage bonus for 15 seconds when you use her resonant skill, and the cooldown on her skill is 12 seconds so it lines up perfectly. For the 3 and 1 cost echoes, aim for attack percent or fusion damage bonus across the board. For the substats, prioritize crit damage or crit rate and resonant skill damage. You'll want some energy recharge substats and resonance liberation damage is also a plus. Now let's talk about Changely's weapons because she does have a few options. Her signature weapon is not only good for her, but on many characters or many future characters since the main stat is crit damage. You'll also get a 12% attack buff to boot, which is great stuff. The passive perfectly suits Chun-Li and any future character that utilizes their resident skill. Every time she hits an enemy or her resident skill hits, then she'll get a stack. 5 for hitting the skill, 1 for regular hits, maxing out at 14 stacks, and granting you a 56% total resonant skill damage buff, 4% per stack. Once it maxes out, the buff will last for 10 seconds and then it'll be removed and you'll have to stack it up again. She has other options, but I would actually recommend getting this weapon. 
It is really a great signature weapon, but it's not required. The standard 5 star sword actually works perfect for her, the Emerald of the Genesis. As for 4 star weapons, she can use all of them, but stay away from Overture and sword number 18. Her best 4 star option is Commando of Conviction and the Lunar Cutter. She can also use the Battle Pass sword, but it's not her best option since her heavy attacks are considered resident skill damage. Now let's talk about Chen Li from a meta perspective and her team options. Chen Li will be a powerful character that will want to get off as many enhanced heavy attacks as possible. She has very good AoE on those moves as well and she takes less damage while using them. She'll primarily be a main DPS but you can also use her in a sub DPS or quick swap role. She and Encore will make a good duo alongside a healer. Sadly, her outro buff doesn't last that long being 10 seconds, but Encore is still able to use it at the beginning of her rotation. She isn't tied to Encore, or any character for that matter. As a matter of fact, there's a certain character that really resonates with her, and that's Tao Chi. Tao Chi provides a resonant skill damage buff for 14 seconds with her outro skill, and she also provides a decent amount of shielding. Sadly, Tao Chi as a whole leaves a lot to be desired as she can only heal herself and the shield only lasts for 3 hits, but she is a good option. A few other decent sub DPS options are Mortify and Hyunwoo. They both aren't the best option, but make suitable units for a sub DPS. Sadly, Mortify's outro buff probably won't be buffing Shun Li's heavy attacks, but I'll test it when she releases to see if it actually works and I'll update it in a pinned comment if it does actually somehow work. Now, if you have Yinlin, then she's an amazing support for Chun-Li and for a quick swap DPS comp. That's who I plan on using her with primarily, but we'll see how good Tao Chi works when I actually get her raised. As for healers, we really only have two, or maybe three options if you count Spectral Rover, which is going to be Baiji and Marina. Take your pick. Now let's talk about her resonance chain quickly, and then going over her sequences and how significant they are. Her S1 will increase her damage dealt by 10% when she uses an enhanced heavy attack and her resonance skill, while her S2 will give her a 25% crit rate buff when she has inflamement. There it doesn't seem to be a cooldown associated with this, so I'm going to assume 100% uptime, but we have to wait and see if that is the case. They really need to clarify the wording a lot better with these skills. This is a great stopping point for you Shun Li lovers. Her S3 significantly increases the damage of her Resonance Liberation by a whopping 80%. Her S4 will give the entire team a 20% attack buff for 30 seconds when she triggers her intro skill, so nice that she's supporting the team. S5 increases the heavy attack multiplier on her heavy attack and the damage dealt by 50%, which is kind of massive. And lastly, her S6 allows her skill liberation, and enhanced heavy attack to ignore 40% of the target's defense. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of DPS there. All of her sequences increases her damage, but none of them really change her gameplay. So I would suggest holding off. We haven't had many supports to characters released yet, and we all know that supports are the game changers for gacha games. Overall, she seems to be very powerful and fun to play. I wasn't able to verify if she gets two dodges in air, but that is going to be a major point if you want to get off some air attacks, but I don't see any other issues with her kit. She will be a fun addition to the cast, and she will be a specialist in resonant skill damage. I am really excited, I'm just biding time waiting for her release. If you've already gotten Jinchi or are on the fence, then you'll be good with either options as they're both very strong damage dealers. Still here? Great. Go ahead and leave a like on this video as my dog here, this husky here, she lives off of likes so you're going to have to like this video. Like, really, you're going to have to feed her those likes. Go ahead and subscribe if you really like this video as well and until next time, Enigma out.